Hey everybody, welcome back to the Zephyr Wellness YouTube channel. I'm Jake Wiskirchen and this is the Zephyr Wellness basement. I chose the basement because I think it's an appropriate metaphor for where we try to shove our emotions when we don't want to feel them and sometimes they don't stay in the basement. And to demonstrate that, I've got this red bouncy ball that I think is an appropriate metaphor to represent what happens when we try to stuff our emotions down. So. Even though we're in a basement, what I want you to do is picture yourself on a boat in the middle of a lake uh, surrounded by pine trees and a clear blue sky and a sun and the, the lake is blue and you're surrounded by all this blue and green and this is your emotional energy. And what happens is we don't want this, this ugly garish red ball uh, obstructing our experience of the blues and the greens of the lake and the boat and the water and all the, the fun and the sunshine. So what we'll try to do with this is we'll just throw it somewhere. We can't throw it over the boat because it'll just sit there and bob in the water. Um, so sometimes what we'll do is we'll, we'll think we can stuff it under the boat. We'll, we'll reach overboard and we'll push it under the boat and we'll say, all right, cool, it's gone, right? Um, my emotional energy that I don't want to feel, the sadness, the negativity, the anger, uh, the shame, the guilt, it's gone, I've just stuffed it down. The problem is, as the boat rocks and the waves hit the boat, uh, this bouncy ball will eventually work its way underneath the, the hull of the boat and pop up the other side. And what ends up happening is sometimes uh, some unsuspecting person, maybe like your little cousin, is looking over the side of the boat and admiring the, the crystal blue clear waters, and the ball will come up and pop him in the face. And that you didn't intend for that to happen. You didn't intend for your emotional energy to be offloaded onto some unsuspecting victim. But that's what we do. We end up taking this energy and we stuff it down into the basements of our psyches. And then it blasts out somewhere, maybe out the window behind me, into some unsuspecting passerby. But either way, we, if we don't deal with our emotional energy, it's going to land on somebody inappropriately. It's going to end up on landing on some target that we didn't want to receive our emotional off-putting or our off-gassing, off if you will. So the way that we deal with our emotional energy is we want to take this, this energy and we want to acknowledge it. We want to, we want to not pretend that it, it doesn't exist. We don't want to like try to shove it down someplace that it can pop up and hit somebody else accidentally. We want to acknowledge it. We want to take and find out that there's, there's a valve, there's a pressure relief valve, and we call that talk therapy. We call that consultation with other people. We call that acknowledgement, meditation, prayer, exercise, um, anything that takes us uh, out into the, the world and contacts us with other human beings or with nature or with God. And we can allow ourselves to say, yes, this is actually happening to me. And I choose to release this pressure valve in an appropriate manner. And we get all the energy out. Now, I'm not going to actually release the, the pressure valve because I think it's permanently put in there. But the idea is that if I take this and I just purposely release it and I let out all the energy inside, I now have a deflated ball that I can then um, throw on the floor of the boat or I can toss it in a trash bag. Um, I can throw it overboard if I want to, you know, if I want to litter in the lake, which is not appropriate. But the point is it will disappear. It won't have any more energy in it. It won't, it won't sit there and bob up and down. Now, that's not to say that I will forget the experience that caused the emotion or that somehow I'm going to just move on and, and pretend like it never happened. That's not the case. We have a deflated ball. It's definitely red. It's just deflated, and that's fine. Those experiences will stick with us, and we will remember those things, but they don't necessarily have to carry the energy that they once did. So I hope this works. I hope this metaphor helps. Some people find it useful, some don't. Um, if you have your own energetic ball that you need to get rid of, I invite you to just find the valve, release it, offload it. Maybe that's through talking to somebody. Maybe that's through a lunch with a friend. Maybe it's through consultation with a, a trusted uh, mentor or, or teacher or a family member or you know somebody like me who you know is a trained psychotherapist. But either way, please, please, please get rid of the energy that you're carrying with you and don't try to stuff it down because it will pop up. It will explode. It will, uh, you know, get, you will get rid of it. And usually it's going to be gotten rid of in, a, in an inappropriate way in some place that you didn't intend and will end up having unintended consequences, um, you know, upon other people. So, you know, we don't want to bring harm and destruction to other people's lives. So take care of your emotional energy, let it go when you feel it. And, um, if you, uh, if you want to keep learning more, check out ZephyrWellness.org. It's going to be right there, I think. And you can go to uh, NogginNotes.com, follow the podcast, and uh, download the app. The app is a great way to track your emotions. 
and keep track of the, the reasons behind your emotions so that you can offload your emotional energy into a journal, if you will. Thanks for listening, and on behalf of the Zephyr Wellness team, I wish you all great mental wellness. Bye-bye.